So here we've got two coils and two different currents. They're going in opposite directions. We've also got this chart here that's telling us the net magnetic moment, um, which would be this plus that, the purple things. Um, and then we've also got the current of I2 over here. It's a little bit confusing, but what's happening over here is that basically what it's saying is when I2, the current, is equal to zero, then that means that the magnetic moment here from I1 is going to be equal to this. So we can kind of say that I2 is equal to zero, and at that moment, the M1 is equal to uh, uh, 2.2 e to the negative 5. Okay, so this is kind of one little piece of information we can gather from that. But the net is going to be like this, um, M1 plus M2. And let's recall what M is. M is supposed to be like NIA, where N is the number of coils, which in this case is just one, so that'll kind of just go away. The I is the current inside of it. Um, and then the A is the area of the whole like loop inside the circle here. Um, so another really important number that we want to look at is when the net is equal to zero over here. So we've already established that M1 is this. And if we could figure out what it, what it would be equal to zero, um, then we would see that I2 would be like the minus of that. So, so, so what I'm saying is like right here, um, for the net is equal zero, notice that I2 is at five milliamps. So what that's trying to say is that when I2 is 5 milliamps, the net M is equal to 0. That's what that's trying to say. And when the net M is equal to 0, that's going to give us this equation. 0 equals 2.2 e to the negative 5. And then because they're in opposite directions, we're going to be subtracting something. We're just going to try to figure out what this is. <laughs> It's obvious it's going to be 2.2 e to the negative 5, otherwise we can't equal 0 there. So when the current of I2 is at 5 milliamps, that also means that M2 is equal to 2.2 e to the negative 5 um, uh, amps meter squared. And so now we can use this equation over here, saying that 2.2 e to the negative 5 is equal to n, which is 1, times i2, which would be that, and then times the area. And since we know that i2 is actually equal to 5 milliamps, and we can divide that by this side here, here then we'll find the area. That's going to help us. So 2.2, negative 5, divided by 5, negative 3. So we get the area is equal to 4.4, the negative third meter squared. And that's going to be for this little thing. Now that we figured that out, let's take a look at the next step. If coil 2 was reversed, what would be the net m when i2 is at 8? Um, so what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to establish what is m2 when i2 is 8. That's just going to be, again, just 1 for the n, then we'll plug in 8, for the i, and then we're going to get the area, which we already know is 4.4 to the negative third. And we should be able to get, this is a milliamps, not meters, but <laughs> 8 to the negative third times 4.4, negative third. Okay, great. So now we've got, this is the M2, and we're just going to add 2.2 because that's just gonna be the total of everything because now when they reversed those magnetic moments are going to be the same pointing the same direction so you're now going to add those two together which is going to be that plus that and there we go we've got our answer as 5.72 to the negative 5 and this would be meters squared times amps that's going to be the net magnetic moments here for both.